that phone is such a brick. Sorry? I said your phone is a brick. Yeah, I know. Yeah, anyway, don't worry about that. It's just some guy stating the obvious. Smile to gender! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Why is it that some of us can't take on board genuine advices? Now here is a brother from another mother who caught another brother drinking and now he's confronting him in a nice and polite manner. Uh, bro, I saw you yesterday, you know, in the park drinking some alcohol. You know in Islam that's not allowed man. Let's see the ways in which this brother reacts to this advice. Finding something wrong with the other person. No fam. No, 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 you didn't even say salam to me man. Don't even try that one. Well, it's not exactly the same thing, is it? No, 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 no. swings and roundabouts, isn't it fam? What? Swings and roundabouts. Accusing the person of judging. Why are you judging me fam? Stop judging me man. Why well, you brothers keep judging people? No, I wasn't judging, I was just, you know... Yes you were, yes you were man. Denying it completely. No, no, it wasn't me. I was with my grandma man. Didn't she die like two years ago? No, no, it definitely wasn't me man. I'm pretty sure it was. You made salam to me as well. No, there's a difference of opinion in it fam. That, that, that difference of opinion. Let's, let's agree to disagree in it. Alright. Accuse the person of being jealous. Is it? You're just jealous, man. What? You're just jealous, isn't it? Because you saw me and I was with all these girls and I was with my boys and we all had peas. I can assure you, bro, I'm not jealous. It's just my duty to advise you, innit, as a, as a brother. No, man, listen. If you want in, just tell me, innit? I'll hook you up, fam. Attack him! <laughs> What happened, man? Man, try giving me advice, innit? Bro, are you okay? Are you okay, bro? <laughs> Alright, here's the dealio. A person doesn't accept advice because A, he thinks he's perfect. Or B, he thinks he's better than the other person. Either way, it falls under pride. And as we know by the famous hadith, even if you have an iota of pride, you won't enter Jannah. A scholar said that we should even keep our enemies close. Why? Because our enemies have been given a microscope by Allah that they are able to detect our smallest flaws that we would probably overlook on account of them being insignificant. So, it depends how you look at things. Now, bear in mind that some advice is said out of ignorance, harm and jealousy. So, obviously I'm not referring to them. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Come over here. Come on! <laughs> just end it with just him getting... <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad! Do you want me to throw the brick? <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check the two videos on my right and left. Keep tuning in to Smile to Jannah. We want to thank everyone for reaching this 10,000 subscriber milestone. It's all with your help and support. Jazakallahu khairan once again. Keep supporting us and keep smiling to Jannah.